by my house. Who is that? Seventeen. You were in on 17? the corner. Was that seventeen? It was. I mean, oh no, court Hickson. eleven. Court eleven. Yeah, seventeen was. Eleven. Yeah, seventeen is down here. Way at the corner. Yes. But you you played right. skate tag. What kind of? You mean the metal skates? Yeah. <laughs> the metal skates. <laughs> Oh, right. Here's the new latest villager. That was me about 68 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Joey Holland's Joe Holland's. You gonna put these videos online? The Hollingsworth lives, you know, Moshe. I know what he goes by. What name he goes by now? Joe Hollingsworth, I remember. He was a pretty good quarterback. Yeah. And he uh, he went to UCLA. But he didn't make the team or something like that. Oh, okay. He was a quarterback at Dorsey. Yep. Mo who's Mosey? That was his nickname. Mosey. Oh, okay. Which way he was a quarterback at Dorsey High School? I remember Hodes? Yeah. Well, Hodes lived next to us. Well, the Hodes is right over there. The Hodes, they live they, right over there. They still live here? No, I right, remember where they lived. The Hodes yeah, well, makers. The Hodes makers lived or in the they village? They lived, they, they, no, they lived next to us for a long time. And I don't know. The Hodes makers now. did. Hollingsworth and, yeah. Hodes at the restaurant. Remember, well, I, that, remember, how Joe wife, remember how pretty that guy's wife yes, was? Yes, she was incredible. Wasn't she beautiful? She was lovely. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know the Hodemaker lived in here. He lived here in the village, and I was. But you know, wife, uh, and she was so. As a kid, I just she was very well groomed. Uh -huh. You know, really an unbelievable, beautiful wife of his. You know, the guy that played Father Knows Best, uh, Ro uh, Robert Love Bobby. Great. No, not Bobby my Young. Robert Young, his sister used to live here, and my dad, my dad King Close, had the house cleaning business here, and he um, did work for her, and she'd always call him Bobby, you know, Robert, Robert Young. She always referred to him as Bobby. How incredible! When did you move out of here? Sixty-one. Same. Just before Steve cleaned up our house, you know, in the flood. Yeah. You know, he cleaned up our house, he said he was working on that group. No, no, we, we only cleaned up, Otto and I only worked two days at the clubhouse. Over here, you mean? Yeah. The clubhouse uh, is right over here. The, yeah. Otto, yeah and I, you... Otto and I worked there, we worked two days, and we were exhausted. After two days, after the first day, we worked 12 hours or some incredible, no, we had no shovel experience. And even though we were young guys in good shape, didn't you know, you had all that strength, and the next day we were just wasted. Well, we were so wet. sore. It was mud. We shoveled so much mud out of there. Well, and the you, next, I thought you told me that uh, you'd gone up the, the next second day, story of my house, and it was, the water was up that high. No, no. Uh, I never, I, I don't think so. I don't okay, recall. Well, how high was the that, water in these places? Up to the second floor? No, I, I stayed. Well, I yeah. Evacuate. No. Okay. Look, Steve, it, let me, I was here. No. I walked during the floor. I did too. Well, and the highest I ever saw it was to yeah. like those windows there. Oh, just up to those windows? No, there could be areas where it Well, I think somewhere. what I heard is that some of the ones right at the bottom here on this, on the reservoir side, I heard the water did go. Oh, it could have, yeah. Second, almost to the roof. Oh, God, I, just, I got pictures. I, I was, I stood on Coliseum when the reservoir We're talking started. about the flood, it, you know, December 63. Was, I was the only person and the street, you know, uh, uh, court two. So I walked up to court three and the reservoir broke and it came down Cloverdale. Unless the water came down, it was Cloverdale. And I was standing there and I took a bunch of pictures. I'll try to find them and show them to you guys. And the wildest thing was the first bit of water that came down across Coliseum, there was a surfboard on it. And it was so strange. I looked at the surfboard bouncing around on the Coliseum. It was pushing a surfboard. <laughs> then the next thing, all these cars started coming down. You know what I mean? And they stacked up, clear over, like to the window. You know, the uh -huh. cars stacked up. Yes. And huge damage through here. And this was about like this to wade through here. And, uh, but you know, Steve, you can't be right because things stack up. You know, I know. I'm not an expert on it because right. I can through the middle. You know, during the, the, the flood, and it was dead quiet. There no, no radios, no TVs on, nothing. It was so weird. I'll try to find those pictures. Steve and Jim Otto on Bosefield, where Jim lived. Yeah. No, it's Bozeman. Bosefield. Bosefield. 5627. Bosefield, that was Jim's.
they, they were paddling boards across the street. I well, I did. I was the one. I was the one that. Well, it wasn't on a picture. That was that picture of us. We were just standing on a surfboard. Oh, okay. That one picture. That was I think before the flood. We took these Quasimodo shots on the lawn. Well, I remember that, but I thought somebody had a picture of a, somebody paddling no, across the street. No, I, I, I've told the story about how I paddled around that day. Yes. And rescued a guy who was hanging on a, on a light pole and paddling home oh my God. to his mom, you know, hoping I didn't drop him. You know, yeah, I pulled away. Yeah, I pulled away. Uh, <laughs> she was headed down.